Bonjour à tous and welcome to French for a Day. This is my little French corner on my YouTube channel where every week I'm going to be sharing with you my French beauty secrets. Today we are creating the 10 minute Parisian makeup look. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my take on the everyday Parisian makeup look and I'm going to give it the office twist. I've had the pleasure to live in France, I love everything about France and that's why I actually decided to create this little section on my YouTube channel where I'm sharing with you my French beauty secrets, everything that I learned over the years. and. I've had the pleasure also to have some business relations with France and to have some business trips there. I remember my first business trip to France, it was actually to Paris and I was at the business district of Paris. It's um, really beautiful, it's called La Défense and I had some business meetings there at some of the financial institutions and what really impressed me the most during this very first business trip was the way girls at the reception look. Well, at the reception there, um, when I arrived at one of the business buildings, I was met at the reception by two gorgeous girls and I literally, my jaw dropped. They were so drop that gorgeous and they looked so natural, so polished, so beautiful. Like I could, I was literally wondering if they even have the tiniest bit of foundation, but their skin of, of both girls, it looked so amazing, poreless, porcelain, beautiful skin. I believe that this was the time when I actually fell in love with the makeup aesthetics of French women and the whole style of French women. And I started to try and learn some tips and tricks from them because I wanted to look the exact same way. They just looked so polished, so put together, so beautiful. And at the same time, it just didn't look like they're wearing makeup. It all looked so effortless, ethereal, beautiful. And um, I just couldn't help myself. I just have fallen in love with France even more, <laughs> if that's even possible. Anyway, so this is the look that I'm going to be recreating today. The two girls there then, back then, were not wearing a red lip. And that's why in this video, I'm not going to be doing the classic French makeup look with the red lip, but I'm going to try and recreate the look that I saw on these girls, um, one of the girls back then. So I clipped my hair back so that you can see what's happening on my face and first before I start applying any makeup products I just wanted to mention a few let's say um, like general rules or some generalizations about French women. Now French women take really good care of their skin and they don't use a lot of product. They actually use products only to enhance what they already have and to celebrate their own beauty, but they're never really going to use makeup to change and reshape their faces. I think that this is one of the main differences between France and the rest of the world. French women would never actually do something to change the shapes of, of their face. I believe that they realize that every person is beautiful inside and out and they like to celebrate their own beauty inside and outside. They, I think that this is really the nationality that truly understands that we need to celebrate who we are and we need to enhance what we already have. We need to celebrate what we already have. So you're really not going to see in France any kind of contouring, any kind of uh, really trying to reshape anything. If you have hooded eyes, that's perfectly fine. Just celebrate and be happy with the hooded eyes that you have. Hooded eyes can be really, really beautiful. Nobody's perfect, so don't try to be perfect. And actually imperfections can be beautiful because we are humans. Now, be sure that you have really good consistent skincare. Be sure to exfoliate your skin and give your skin what it needs. This is going to depend on your skin type and um, on your skin condition, but always make sure to wear SPF. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use some um, Bioderma and this is actually one of the French pharmacy brands. This is a brand that you can easily find in French pharmacies and this one is SPF 50. I have my skincare already. I'm going to list it in the description box below. I have normal, let's say normal skin to combination and I'm 36 years old. Okay. 
Number one, I need to apply my SPF because I already have my skincare on. The one that I currently have leaves a little bit of a white cast, you're going to see. However, it's perfectly fine for me. And when I leave it to soak, so I'm not applying, I need to move my hair. I'm not applying, you know, that much SPF as I would apply if I'm on the beach. But I still want to have a good layer of SPF. My skin is going to get a little bit reddish right now because it's really sensitive and I'm going to keep adding. So I like to start with a little bit and then keep adding because that's how the SPF blends more beautifully. And if you want, um, I'm going to actually list in the description box a few SPFs that work beautiful under makeup. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep adding SPF. I'm going to apply more now. Okay guys, and then depending on how much time you're going to spend in the sun, then you can apply uh, more. I did apply two layers of SPF. Now, ideally after I finish my SPF application, I'm usually going to take a few minutes, um, a break, just to let this SPF soak into my skin because my makeup application is going to be much easier after that. If you don't have the time, you can just skip it, go ahead and apply directly your products on top. But this one, I feel like it works best this one in particular, it works best if I just leave it a few minutes, otherwise I'm not going to get really that super flawless result. Now, if you have an SPF that is a little bit, leaves a little bit of a white cast like this one, I am usually going to go with a shade that is a little bit deeper than my skin tone, just to even out this whiteness and to not look weird and to look a little bit more healthy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fetohydra Tint. This is the Tinted Moisturizer by Sisley and I have it in the shade 1. I have the shade 0 as well, but if I apply 0 now, it's not going to look very natural. So for French women, it's either the eyes or the lips, but never the lips and the eyes. Usually the focus of the makeup is going to be either on the eyes or on the lips. So if you have a red lip, then the eyes are really going to be subtle so that the red lip is going to stand out. And if they create a beautiful makeup look on the eyes, then the lips are going to be quite nude. We're going to do something in the middle right now because we're doing an office friendly, kind of a daytime look. Now I'm going to use just a little bit of product. I'm taking my Shantakai Buff and Blur brush and I'm really taking just a little bit and I'm going to apply it right here on top. I'm going to use a little bit on my nose just to warm up this part of my skin. And really with French women, they don't feel the need to apply foundation all over their face. They just use it as a beautifying product only if they need it. Sometimes actually, if the person has really beautiful skin, they are not going to wear even the tiniest bit of foundation. You're just going to see skin, beautiful skin, naked, and a little bit of blush or a little bit of bronzer and that's it. So that's what I'm going to be using. I literally didn't use any foundation. Now I'm going to go ahead, get my mirror and get really close to see if I have something to cover. Yes, I have something to cover just a little bit here on the center, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to apply foundation anywhere else on my face. Okay guys, now I zoomed in a little bit more so that you can see better what's happening on my face and hear about the face. The whole philosophy of French women is to take really good care of their skin and leave the makeup to a minimum and apply it only if need be. And very often you're going to see actually girls, if you just walk around France, we're not really talking about Today I'm creating the Parisian makeup look, but all French women all around France, you might see a lot of women not wearing even the tiniest bit of foundation. They just, if they don't need it, they're not going to wear it. They're not going to follow any trends blindly. They're just going to think what's going to look good on them. I'm going to start doing my brows and I'm going to be talking at the same time about the face features. Now about the face features, it's very important. If you have something to cover, go ahead and cover it, but don't use too much. 
And something very important about the under eye area. Sometimes people don't really need concealer and I feel like a lot of times people feel obligated to use concealer. Well, don't feel obligated to use concealer if you don't need to. Right now you can see that after I applied my SPF, it did appear a little bit kind of a whitish on my um, face, but once I evened it out, the color just on the edges, I evened out the color with a shade deeper tinted moisturizer. You can see that right now it looks actually quite even and I don't need concealer. I don't feel the need to use concealer, but if you have to use concealer, be sure to use it only where you need it. Now, when applying the concealer, a must rule for all French women is to not have a lot of product under the eyes because it's going to stick into the fine lines. And as you move during the day, as you smile, you're going to end up having product. They never end up having product here around the eyes and under the eyes. So if you're applying a concealer, make sure to really apply it to brighten the under eye area. But of course, um, be mindful of your age because as we age, we start to get those little fine lines here and concealers and products tend to get stuck here as the day goes. So this is something that you must try to avoid. Next, moving on to the brows. French women are usually going to leave their brows quite natural. They are only going to plug the hairs that are right here below, but they're never going to plug right here above the eyebrow. They're just going to leave it a little bit more natural. And you're usually going to see in France those naturally full brows. They are going to, some French women are going to fill in their brows a little bit. Some are just going to leave them natural. I like to fill in my brows just a little bit where I feel like I have gaps, but it's not necessary. On a daily basis, I would rarely actually fill in my brows. I would more often use only a brow gel to keep them in place. Brow gel, on the other hand, it's mandatory because it's going to keep the brows in place. Now about powder, use it only if you need to and only where you need to. I'm going to use a little bit right here around my nose and on the chin. But I want to leave the rest of my face glowy because the look that I'm recreating of the girl she had the most beautiful, glowing complexion, naturally beautiful. Now, if you do not apply a lot of foundation, you're actually going to be able to reapply sunscreen very easily throughout the day. Now, I'm going to be moving on to eyes, and for eyes, I'm going to be using one very old Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette. This is the Sophisticate eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using this soft brown shade here on top, and I'm going to use this only to sculpt my eye a little bit to cheat a little bit, so I'm going to place this color in my crease. It's a very natural color. I like to take the excess on the back of my hand and I'm just going to sculpt my eye a little bit. This is a matte color. This eyeshadow palette is actually very suitable to create the everyday French makeup look because the colors are really soft. They blend beautifully, everything is matte, but they are not somehow, they are not flat matte, they blend easily and quite effortlessly. So I'm applying the color right in my crease and blending a little bit above my crease, almost to cheat a little and place the crease where I want it to be, make my eyes look less hooded because as we age, all of us start to have a little bit more hooded eyes, but I'm going to keep it everything very natural. It's barely going to be visible. It's all about enhancing the eye shape, creating a little bit of shadow. And then I'm going to get the deeper, more like a chocolatey brown color. Same brush, just on the outer part of my crease. I'm going to brush it lightly here.
Okay guys, now I caught my eyelashes and now one of the ultimate French tricks. They never apply too much mascara and it always looks so natural. This is something that I learned from a French lady when I asked her like, your lashes always look so defined and beautiful. And she said, that's because I always wipe the mascara I want. You just apply too much mascara. So I just wipe it. And after that, I go ahead and apply the mascara when I want to create this really nice French look. Well, sometimes the Italian passion gets me. In Italy, people love to apply a lot of mascara. They are not afraid of mascara. You're gonna have like two, three coats of mascara really those bold lashes but the french look is different it's the opposite the lashes should be as natural as possible and as defined as possible okay now we are moving on my hair got a little bit loose now right now after you have the mascara you might want to go back with the eyeshadow and just um, use your eyelashes almost as a guideline to see where the crease color should be. So if you want to, now is a great time to enhance the shape a little bit if you want to. I'm not going to do that because I'm quite happy with the natural look that I'm getting and I'm going to see if I need more once I apply the mascara and the blush, um, the lipstick and the blush actually. Now for lips, I'm going to be using a nude lip. I've had the pleasure to work with French women on a number of occasions and women that were holding really high positions in the financial industry and I would say that approximately 70% of the time they're going to wear a shade of a red lipstick, a different kind of shade of red lipstick and I would say that what I've noticed is that there is not a certain shade of red lipstick that French women wear. Some of them might wear a really bright red lipstick, um, some might wear really muted dark lipstick. I think that it all depends on the clothes, on the mood, um, on the personality, but very often I've seen them wearing a statement nude lipstick as well. Now something that I've learned from French women is that they're not afraid to mix different lipstick shades. Usually they do this with a red lipstick, but I'm going to do this with a nude lipstick right now, with two actually nude lipsticks. So I have 206 from the new Chanel Nudes collection and 199 and I love mixing do these two colors together. So 206 is quite neutral beige color and I like to use it on its own. However, it's not a statement nude color. It makes me look a little bit pale. And this color, 199, is really extraordinarily beautiful. I would say that it's one of the most beautiful shades of the new, from the new Chanel Fall collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix those two colors together and customize the look. So I'm just going to go ahead and customize the look, the shade, so that it's going to complement my own skin tone. I'm applying this straight from the bullet and I remember that back then the girl at the reception was wearing a very similar color to this one. It was like a statement nude color that was complementing her skin tone so beautifully. It was not a red color but it was the most beautiful nude color. Somehow it just would complement her complexion so beautifully. And I believe that this is a combination that works for my complexion. And here a huge thank you to all of you who left all of the comments under my first French Beauty Secrets video. If you haven't seen the comments, you should definitely go ahead and see the comment section under the video because we had so many amazing makeup tips. I'm going to be using one of the tips that Chris actually gave me under this video. Chris is French and is a makeup artist and it always gives me the best tips. A few others also mentioned this tip. So I just wanted to share it with you. So let's go ahead and blot now, but I completely forgot that when you blot a lipstick, you actually have to peel the different tissues of the handkerchief. Okay, I'm gonna use just one. And I have been using this trick for the past week and I am obsessed. I used to know this trick when I was in France, but I completely forgot to use it. 
So let's go ahead and blot just to make the lipstick a little bit more long lasting. And this lipstick is going to last under my mask as well. I'm going to go ahead and reapply the lipsticks now. I'm going to, since I'm mixing the two colors together, I'm actually going to reapply a little bit of each of the lipsticks. Okay guys, now the last time I'm just going to go ahead and take some loose powder, whatever loose powder you have and blot one last time. I'm taking some loose powder on my brush and let's do this. Now probably the camera right now is not going to show the real effect of this, but I dare you try this trick. You should definitely try it, especially now that we're going with masks and especially if you want your lipstick to last all day and if you are going to eat outside at a nice restaurant. Well, this trick, I tell you guys, this is some game changer. It works beautifully if you're wearing a statement red lipstick, but it works equally well also if you're wearing a statement nude lipstick like this one. Now you can decide to customize the color to your liking. Of course. Now moving on to the blush. When I create the French makeup look, I'm usually going to apply the blush last. It's usually going to be the last product that I'm going to apply on my face because once I have the lipstick on and the eyes, I know exactly how much blush I need. If the lipstick is a little bit darker, you can apply a little bit more blush. But when it comes to French, the French makeup, Usually the blush is going to look very natural, very elegant, very tasteful. So French women are usually not going to use this kind of bright pink um, and very bright colors on their cheeks because they consider it to be a little bit more childish. They always like to go for the more elegant, more timeless makeup look. And that's why they usually choose something that is a little bit more beige with a little bit more probably golden peachy undertones. And they're generally going to think about their own skin tone and what is going to complement their skin tone beautifully, but it's never going to be too obvious. It's never going to be too much on the face. So I'm going to go ahead and use one old blush from Chanel. This one is ombre and going to go ahead and apply just a little bit on my cheeks. Now, French women sometimes use bronzer, but they never contour their face. Uh, they never really want to change the shape of their face or the shape of their nose. Everything that they do is just to enhance what they already have, but they never really change their features which is something that I truly love and is respect about France because why not celebrate your own beauty and the face that you were given? Because I think that we all have a unique face shape. Why not just go ahead and celebrate that? And if they use a blush and a bronzer and a highlighter, it's never going to be visible. The whole idea is you shouldn't be able to see where the highlighter starts where the blush starts and where the bronzer starts. So everything should look even and um, really nice. So they usually are going to apply a little bit of the blush on the nose as well, because it somehow makes it all seamless and more natural. Now I almost don't have foundation here, as you saw probably in the beginning, I just applied a little bit of the tinted moisturizer here on top. And here I almost don't have foundation, but now that I'm applying the blush, we still have a product. It looks incredibly natural and probably just a touch of bronzer, but I'm going to blend it with the blush. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my brows one last time. And I think that I'm actually very close to the look that I saw back then at La Défense. This was exactly a similar makeup look that made me fall in love with the whole French aesthetics. I'm quite happy with the look that I have. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what are your tips and tricks on how to create the beautiful everyday Parisian makeup look. Even if you have never been to Paris, I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear what you think. And I would love if you could share some tips and tricks because that's how we are going to learn together. Also, don't forget to read the comments under the video because you're going to see so many tips that you can use for yourself. I can never share everything in a single video because I usually Usually I'm going to edit the video so that you can watch it in a matter of 15-20 minutes tops 
And I can never share all of my tips, all of my tricks, and I don't know everything. So your input is very valuable. It's what makes our community so beautiful and so powerful. Now, let me go ahead and take my hair down. I think I want to wear my hair down. And in the meantime, while I'm going to be just taking my hair down, I want to show you some photos from Paris. Okay guys, now two more tips that I wanted to share with you. This look is actually very minimal. I have very small amount of makeup on my face right now, which is going to make it extremely easy for me to reapply SPF during the day because like in two, three hours, if I decide to spend a little bit more time in the sun, I can just go ahead and apply, reapply the SPF very easily because it's not I do this actually uh, on a daily basis because it's not going to interfere with the makeup. If I'm wearing a lot of makeup, it's not going to be possible. But since I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I can easily go ahead and reapply my SPF. The next thing that I wanted to share with you is that I can easily make this look into an evening look. I can just add a little bit of eyeliner on my upper lash line, reapply the mascara, maybe change the lipstick color or just reapply the lipstick color or change it with a red lip and it's going to be a classic beautiful evening look so it's very easy with this kind of french looks it's very easy to turn it into a nighttime look thank you so much for spending time with me i hope you enjoyed it and if i made you smile please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and join the fun subscribe i would love to have you here a bientôt